Gentlemen, if I could have your attention for a moment, please. Okay. Right. These next two days are very important if you want to progress in the British Army. So take every task seriously and try your best, all right? For some of you, this is going to be the end of the line. For others, you'll be invited to go on to the next stage, which is phase one, basic training. Okay. You know you're all here to have your medicals. But before you go in to see the doctor for your examination, you'll have a few different tests first. Problem with that, 17. No, it's just a bit boring so far. So that was your setup. The technical selection test is basically a mathematical test. You've then got your undergrasp heave test. 55 questions. Power bag lift and rope climb. Should take you about half an hour. Every applicant must take these upper body strength tests. On you go. Oh, you me. My hand slipped, that's all. God, I'm Oh, you. My still hurt from them jerry cans. You were good. You have to bring our shopping home from Iceland. <laughs> Are you from London? Could you tell? How about you? Um, do you know Preston? Lancashire. So Preston's your town, yeah? Well, no, Leyland, but I didn't think you'd have heard of that. But it's just outside of Preston. Which I also have not heard of. <laughs> yeah, but you know where Lancashire is, though, right? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this part of your selection known as the Icebreaker. Each and every one of you will be coming up here individually and telling us a little bit about yourselves. Who's going to be brave enough to go first? Hmm? OK. Here, you've got a lot to say for yourself. Who told you that? Get up here. You never stop fucking chuntering on. Now, come on. Now's your chance, cos we all want to listen. Good. Up here. Hey, where are you going? I don't want to stand up and talk. Fair play. Army's not for everyone. Leave now, though, and you'll regret it for the rest of your life. You reckon? I know. See, I had you down as a trier, eh? I thought you'd be brave enough to come up here and talk for a couple of minutes. Well, you don't think I'm going to make the grade anyhow? I can see you all looking down your big, shiny schnozzes at me. Oh, don't be so fucking wet. Turn around and talk to the class, or have everyone know what a lettuce you are. A lettuce? <laughs> Loser. <laughs> Couldn't do when it matters, eh? You want that on your headstone? Let's see if you've got what it takes. My name's Molly Dawes. Uh, I come from near Stratford, not the one that Shakespeare comes from, the other one in 
London Borough of Newham, which sometimes I think is the nicest place on the planet to live, and, well, other times I, I think it's a right shell. Don't look at me again. Get on. Sometimes I walk down East Amway Street and in the sun and smell the spices and see every manner of people and I well up. I feel really proud of where I come from. And other times when it's all powder keggy and like it's about to blow, I just want to run. Just want to run away and live in a barn somewhere. I live off the portway with my three sisters, two brothers, my pregnant mum and my toss pot of a dad. All crammed into this little Lego house that's bursting at the seams with noise and toys and cheap Polish lago. Kids scooters, piles and piles of washing that my mum keeps meaning to do, but she's always too knackered. My dad's enough to knacker any bugger out. <laughs> He's at home all day, on the sick. When he was a sky dish fitter, some tow rag had it away of his ladder and he fell off this roof and landed in a bush. Done his back in. He went to hospital. He had to shit in a pan for weeks. He couldn't get out of bed. Lost his job and... But he got the depression, my mum reckons. Some days he's as right as a ninepence, and <laughs> other days you see him hobbling around, moaning and groaning like a 90 year old. <laughs> but, and then a mate lends him a tenner, and it's a bleeding miracle. He can shuffle down the pub, get a pint down his Gregory, which of course he says is a muscle relaxant. And if it wasn't for his back, then he wouldn't bother with the drinking. But sometimes I can see it all mapped out in front of me. My shitty little life just waiting to happen. Middle-aged me, picking up toys and cans of lager. My toss-pot boyfriend pisses on any dreams I might have had. One and a half mile run is a very important test. Pass and you'll remain on selection. Fail, and you may as well go home. And once you've completed your run, go back to your quarters and get ready for your interview. You'll then be told whether you'll be recommended for enlistment. Right then. Good luck, everybody. On your marks. Go. all right, a bit better. We did a timed run before the selection, so the corporal reckons they might be able to take that into consideration. Mm, well, I'm screwed then. They should have just left me. Anyway, I think I might have made a bit of a ricket on the clothes front. Here, have you got any other shoes? Only my trainers. What size are you? Five and a half. I've got a pair of sixes. There you go. And what about leggings? Have you got any of them? Because your skirt might be a bit short. I ain't got any leggings. Yeah. Take them. Go in there and fight for your life. I've got all the comments of the various NCOs. 
and in fact everybody who's been involved in this two-day selection process. Yes, sir. Ma'am. We have to make sure any potential recruit has a 90% chance of making it through phase one training. Yes, ma'am. You want to join the Royal Army Medical Corps, I see. You didn't make your cap badge time for the one and a half mile run. Well, I need more training. I understand you stopped to assist another recruit who had fallen. You have divided opinion, Miss Dawes. You tell me why I should recommend you. Tell me why the British Army should have you swelling their ranks, and I don't want to hear, I want this more than anything. Truth? I reckon if I really, really tried my hardest, then I wouldn't be the worst. And do we want someone who aspires to be not the worst? We need soldiers who aspire to be the best. Just give me a chance. And why should I do that? Because I've never had one. But if I'm given a chance, I won't let anyone down, I swear, miss. A couple of the comments are extremely heartening. You clearly have attributes that you're either unaware of or are too modest to promote. Thanks. I'm not sure it's a compliment, Miss Dawes. So, do I really think you're worth it? I just wanted to talk to you, like, outside the house, away from the noise. Well, if it helps you out, we know. Yeah, we don't mind. Really? Well, you're our daughter, Mo. We love you. You're not a little girl anymore, so, no, fair play to you. It's your decision. I thought you wouldn't approve. Well, I think he's a bit of a tool, but, you know, it's your choice. Well, to be fair, we hardly know him, Dave. Who are you talking about? Artem. What's it got to do with him? Well, he is a father, isn't he? Oh, it's not that monging up bar from Islington, is it? I ain't pregnant. Did you think I was pregnant? No. Well, what was you going to say then? When? Oh, bloody taking this for this notion, everything. I'm joining the army. 